talk about Buffalo, how it is not exactly San Francisco or Seattle when it comes to the tech scene and tech world. But as we are seeing in a new report, Buffalo is slowly becoming more and more attractive to tech professionals. And joining us to talk more about this report is Dan Miner, a reporter with Buffalo Business First. Dan, hey, thanks for uh, coming back on the uh, town hall tonight. We are talking about Basically, it's an annual analysis, I heard, of the tech industry from commercial real estate firm CBRE, which is well known. They released it a few weeks ago. This is a pretty in-depth report, and you really dug into it, didn't you? Yeah, I did. And I think the, the conclusion that you could reach is that Buffalo, uh, Buffalo stands just about where you would expect on a national scale in terms of its technology economy. Uh, so, in, in some ways, that's a good that's good news because it means that there is a, there is a vigorous sort of flow of companies and, and people who are working here, but it also shit. Shall we keep going? Yeah, go ahead, Dan. And um, it also um, you, you know, but it also means that there's a long way to it also means that there's a long way to go. Um, you know, Buffalo still ranks behind some of its peer cities. Um, Rochester and Albany, and uh, you know that that um, you know that uh, is something that really needs to change if technology is going to sort of change the overall um, economic future of Western New York. It shows the most attractive cities for tech companies right now are the Bay Area, Seattle, Washington D.C., Toronto, and New York. Now. Buffalo, as we just saw there, was 68th overall in the rankings. Overall, what do you make of these standings? Just how tech-friendly is Buffalo, and what will it take for Buffalo to actually crack the top 50? Yeah, I mean, it's all about volume. You know, I mean, it, ultimately, the report measures the uh, amount of companies that are doing business in technology here and the, amount, the number of people that are, um, that are working in that industry here. Uh, so I think that what Buffalo Buffalo has done over the past five years or so is proven that you can do great tech projects here. You can build a market leader like ACV Auctions uh, that becomes a, a, a unicorn venture capital funded goes public. You can attract uh, a global software firm in Odoo from Belgium uh, to and and um, build an East Coast operations hub uh, in Buffalo. Um, you know, you can take a, a corporation like M&T Bank and, um, you know, and sit, they see fit that, you know, they can make a major real estate and a major sort of workforce investment in technology, um, again, in Buffalo. These are shoots, you know, these are, these are, these are stories that we can tell. Um, the, the key now is taking those and using them to foster more of it. You know, yeah. uh, simply put, there, there needs to be more companies, uh, technology companies, and more technology jobs to move up the rankings. And ACV's valuation for such a young company is incredible right now, so we're lucky we have them in town. Now, Dan, Rochester was the only other city in the state besides New York City, I believe, to be listed among the top 50 markets coming in 47, just behind Jacksonville, ahead of uh, Virginia Beach, similar size places. What does Rochester have that Buffalo doesn't have where it breaks the top 50? Yeah, uh, simply put, it just has more workers. Um, you know, Rochester has a more, uh, I would say, the the legacy of the companies that were strong for the 20th uh, century uh, begat um, more more tech enterprises um, that that are that survive and exist today. Uh, so, you know, uh, Buffalo needs to um, Buffalo needs to take what I would call fledgling momentum and uh, and, and use like, for instance, you you brought up. Um, ACV auctions is a, is a is a proving case for the economic power of these companies. You know, you can you, it doesn't take 50 years to be a global leader. It takes seven, and all of a and, and you have uh, people who are multi tens of millionaires in Buffalo now, um, who were just like your neighbor <laughs> uh, five years ago. So you know, this is this is something that has explosive growth potential and could really change the growth trajectory of Western New York if if we get it right. And they're still working on that for sure. All right, Dan Miner, very fascinating uh, information. You dug into it. We appreciate you doing all that legwork for us. It is a great read. Thank you very much. And thank you for joining us on the Town Hall tonight at 530. You can send your comments and questions to our text line. It's simple every day, 716-849-2020. Channel 2 News at 6 with my partner, Mary Alice, coming up next.